She's the club TV show. I'm Jacob. If you don't know me, I stepped in last summer as club manager whilst Albert was on holiday. Here's a reminder of when I took over last summer. Hello, my name's Jacob and I'm the manager of the Shrewsbury Club. I'm going to give you the quick tour of the Shrewsbury Club. Let's start with the reception. Our staff is so friendly, except they are on the early shift. We have a great spa here. My mum gets a massage, my dad does his makeup. I'm not normally allowed in here. Did you know I can squat 100 kilograms? Also, I can do 50 press ups. Can you play tennis because I can? This is my trophy camera. Look at all of my trophies. Also, um, there can be adult classes and kids classes. Also, we do yoga. This is a hub where you eat and drink. And I have business meetings here. Mmm, chocolate milkshake. Ooh, there's duck wrap. It's almost time to wrap it up. We have a soft play. Boom, boom. Look at our swimming pool. I do swimming lessons here. Oh, it's warm. It's the end of our tour. Hello, Jacob. Wait, I've got to go. take you on a tour and find out what our teams have been up to during the lockdown. Let's start with tennis. Hey guys, we've got a volley drill for you to try from home. For this all you need is a partner and you're going to try a volley rally, firstly going over a car. Ollie's been struggling but we're going to try. Now, if that's too easy, you can try going over a tractor. And if that's too easy, how about trying over the house? I didn't record it. what I said in the cup
Yes! Standard skills. Beautiful. Now let's move on to the spa. Here's Katie to give you some ideas at home. Hi Katie. Hi Jacob. As we all need a treat during lockdown, my top beauty tip is to always keep your face and eye masks in the fridge. Once on the skin, they will instantly cool, refresh and hydrate the area. My favourites are I Will Survive by Temple Spa. They are a box of six for £35 and will help to reduce puffiness and dark circles and can be used in the morning or the evening. If you would like to purchase these, please contact us at feedback at the shoesburyclub.co.uk. Thanks, Jacob. I love the children's activity at the club. Hi, Simon. Can you tell us a little about Ultimate Kids Fit? Hi Jacob, I think you're doing a great job managing the club in Alvin's absence. Kids Fit is a great session to get young people fitter and stronger. Expect fun and games as you punch, jump and kick during the session. Hope you all enjoy it. See you soon. Thanks Simon, I'm looking forward to the workout now. We all love the club's mascot, Vic the dog, and he is missing everyone here. He is looking after the club whilst it's empty. internet it's pluto here and i i just I'm, I'm getting the feeling that there's a time of crisis for the two leggeds and so i thought maybe i could share some perspectives from the four leggeds and maybe that could help you so we like to just chill out at home and we we curl up and we we wander around and play with the tennis ball and there's lots that you can do and I heard that there's a crisis with the toilet paper, which I don't understand. I mean, for cats, I understand because they like to play with it, but cats aren't that important. But for humans, well, what my mom, she, what she does for me is she cuts the hair on my bum really, really, really short. And then so stuff just, it just comes straight out and then there's no worry. It's all good. And then also, my other mom said that she went this morning and there was nothing in the grocery store. So she, she said there won't be any snacks today. But for me, it's really easy for snacks. You just go sniffing around a little bit. And if you live near like a little a little school or something, even if it's closed, there's going to be some leftover snacks around there for sure. And also at the end of the street, at the... At the, at the curb area where the hole where the water goes down, sometimes snacks get stuck around there. So it's a good place to check for a, a little, a little snack if you're really hungry. So just, it's really, very important that you, you all be good to each other. And the, the practice, the social distance, social distancing. So don't, please, you shouldn't sniff other people's legs and really, you really shouldn't sniff their crotches until this whole thing is over. You gotta, that's social responsibility. So I'm, I'm here if you need me, and I'm really wishing you some good luck, okay? All right, bye. Nice one, Pluto. What's good advice? I don't 
get to go in the gym, but I know loads of you do, so here's Kieran with some advice. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you're well. Just going to take a moment of your time to go through the My Wellness app and what it has and what it offers. If you haven't already downloaded it, you're just going to download it via your mobile preference. Once doing so, we'll be able to take you to the home screen and we can get started okay so as using the app you're going to be able to receive our workouts of the day as you'll see on the top of the screen you'll be able to track your outdoor activity via gps and connect your apps and devices as well some of the apps and devices you can do are as you can see here today google fit or samsung health so your movements and your steps will be taken into account as well and such stuff as fitbit garmin and Strava okay so when you connect your outdoor activity if you're out doing your daily exercise or walk you can track it on here on the GPS and as you go around it'll do your coordinates as well from the look from the uh, lockdown point of view you have step one easy moderate and hard so you choose the level that suits it's gonna roughly take you 20 minutes it's a beginners level and you'll get around about 284 moves, okay? If you're gonna uh, pair a heart rate monitor or one of the devices from before, tap to pair before you start the exercise, that the exercises will come down in the list for you here, and then you can change the sets and reps and times to suit if you want to, or alternatively start as you're from there. Once you finish the workouts, you will be able to have them recorded on your activities so if we look at one that I did earlier on the totals my total moves were 2000 around 1077 calories about seven and a half kilometers distance traveled and about 22 kilometers traveled roughly over this week you can choose weekly daily or monthly to track I've gone for weekly and it's going to keep you nice and accountable over the time it's also going to record daily activities and let you know how hard you're working through this. It's time to set goals. I hope that you're all keeping happy and healthy and we look forward to seeing you soon. When I go to the Choose Me Club, we love to go into the hub before we go home. Here's Michelle to tell us how to make a great smoothie. Right, thank you, um, Jacob, and welcome to uh, my kitchen. So I'm here today to show you how to make a fruit smoothie using a few simple ingredients. So first of all, in your blender, you can use a handheld blender um, in a jug, or you can use um, a big beast like this. It's totally up to you. So first of all, you need to add your liquids. So any form of uh, milk, almond milk, uh, cow's milk, uh, soya milk, or you can use yoghurt, um, or even coconut milk if you want to um, make a bit more of a different taste. So here we've got a uh, full fat cow's milk, so one cup which is about 250 ml into your blender first and then I'm going to add equal quantities the same of um, yoghurt. So it's two cups, um, so I like a bit of a mixture, so plain yoghurt um, into there as well. So it's really important to remember to add your liquids first and then into there, I'm gonna add my fruit. So you can add any fruit you like, and a mixture of fruit is better frozen or fresh. I've got bananas and strawberries, but you can use pear, and pineapple is a good one as a fresh dim taste. Uh, raspberries is also good, as well as mixed berries. Um, so add those to your blender. So I'm adding one banana and two strawberries. And um, so add the lid. Um, so this is the noisy bit. And um, from that, I'm gonna turn my blender. <laughs> So you want to blend it until it's a smooth um, texture, so it probably will need a little bit longer. If you do want it to be a little bit thicker, just add some ice at the end and that will thicken it up for you. Okay, so once you've done that, if you have a sweet tooth and you want to make it a little bit sweeter, you can add um, some honey, some maple syrup or a vegan alternative. I'm adding about a tablespoon of honey. And then we'll... and there's your smoothie done. So simply take it off, pour it into your glass. And here is your fruit smoothie. 
Mm, yummy. Thanks very much, Jacob. And back to you. Thank you. Well, that looks good. I'm going to get my mum to make one when I finished Simon's Ultimate Kids Fit session. I'm going to say bye for now and leave you with our timetable for online classes next week. Happy Easter and say safe everyone. Bye!